In this video, we'll take a look at what to do if you receive an error message when trying to connect an external USB drive. Sometimes you might receive the following message saying USB device not recognized, and it'll tell you that the last USB device you connected to this computer malfunctioned and Windows does not recognize it. So what causes this type of error? Well, this issue can be caused if any of the following situations exist. The currently loaded USB driver has become unstable or corrupt. Your computer requires an update for issues that may conflict with a USB external hard drive and Windows. Windows may be missing other important updates for hardware or software issues. Your USB controllers may have become unstable or corrupt. Your external drive may be entering selective suspend. Or your computer motherboard may need updated drivers. These are just some of the causes for this type of error. First place to check is by using the Troubleshooter tool. Windows has a built-in Troubleshooter tool for detecting errors and conflicts and fixing them. You can run this from settings, but to run the Troubleshooter tool for hardware and device issues, let's run this from PowerShell. Do a search for PowerShell from the taskbar, and I'll run as administrator. Once loaded, type in the command msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic. This will then open the Troubleshooter tool where it will find and fix problems with devices and hardware. Select the advanced link and make sure the apply repairs automatically box is ticked. Then go to next. This will then do a scan of your hardware and devices to try and detect any issues and then apply any fixes required. In my case it couldn't identify any issues with the external drive. You can view the details information at the bottom. Here it will give you details of potential issues that were checked. If it does detect an error, then it will give you information on potential steps or fixes that need to be applied. Next, check for any Windows updates that need to be applied to your computer. Applying Windows updates can not only download the necessary files to support newly released hardware and devices, but in some cases it can also fix any errors you may be getting. Go to Start and Settings. Then update and security. Here check to see if any updates have been downloaded and ready to install. In my case the last cumulative update from Windows is available so I started the install for this. Once applied this will normally ask you to reboot your computer which may help fix the issue. Next we can check the disk drive drivers in device manager to see if they could be causing the problem. From the taskbar do a search for device manager and open it from the results. When in Device Manager, expand the disk drive section. Here you can see the primary hard drive that I have in my computer, which is fine. I'll then attach the external USB drive, which is having an issue. Okay, Device Manager has now detected the drive and loaded it here as well. Now there could be a problem with the driver that Windows is trying to use, or may even be corrupt. Right click on the external hard drive from the list. Then go to uninstall device. This will get you to confirm that you're about to uninstall this device from your computer, which I'll go and confirm by pressing uninstall. Now once you've done that, you could scan for new hardware, which would go and pick up the working drivers for the disk drive again from Windows. I prefer a reboot, so go ahead and reboot your computer first. When you log back into Windows, you'll see that device manager will have picked up the USB disk drive again. So see if this fixes the issue. Next we'll go back into Device Manager and this time we'll take a look at the USB controller drivers. Now here when you plug in a USB device like a camera or keyboard it needs to use a driver so it can work correctly. The two drivers that you want to check are up to date and working correctly are Generic USB Hub and USB Root Hub. The USB Root Hub where it says USB 3.0 next to it should be ok so no need to update these. There's a good chance you could run into issues by updating the USB Root Hub 3.0 drivers, so leave these alone. So right click on the generic USB Hub driver and go to Update Driver. Here go to Search Automatically for Drivers. And here it's already determined that the best drivers for your device are already installed. Let's close this. And go back into Update Driver again. Then browse my computer for drivers. 
Here you can actually specify a driver for Windows to use. So go to, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. It shows compatible drivers here. So I'll select the driver available and then go to next again. This will go ahead and complete the update. So I'll go ahead and update the other two drivers as well. Once that's done, you can see if that does the trick, but if not, you can try and uninstall the two types of drivers if they appear to be corrupt. Right click on the driver and go to uninstall device and uninstall to confirm the removal. And I'll also uninstall the other two drivers as well. The driver software will still be on the operating system. So go ahead and reboot your computer for these USB drivers to appear back in the list again after being reinstalled. Next, you can try and update your chipset driver to make sure it's used in the latest driver. By updating your chipset driver, you can potentially fix any underlying issues with your existing chipset drivers. Go over to your computer vendor's website and find the drivers for your computer. Browse to the chipset section and download the latest driver for your computer. When you install this, it will prompt you to reboot your computer, so hopefully this might fix your issue. Next, you can go and disable the USB selective suspend setting. This method prevents your USB external drive from powering down. Do a search for control panel and open from the results. I'll change the category to small icons. Then go to power options. And here go to whichever power plan you're using and select change plan settings. Then change advanced power settings. Here go down to USB settings. Expand USB selective suspend settings. Now you may only see one setting here if you have a PC, but that's okay. As I'm using a laptop, I'll just change to disable for both options. I'll apply the settings and okay to exit the window. And lastly is to check the USB drive itself. I've had external USB drives where in the past it's turned out to be the USB cable causing the issue. Try using another cable if possible or replace the cable as sometimes this might be the cause of the issue. Or it could even be the USB drive itself. To confirm if this is the case, try and connect the USB drive to another computer to see if you get the same problem or if it opens correctly. Maybe the USB drive has its own power source so check if there is a button that needs to be turned on first. Disconnect any other USBs attached to your computer to see if this makes a difference. Don't disconnect your mouse or keyboard if these are connected via USB, but anything else like external hard drives, cameras, maybe you have a phone connected. See if this makes a difference by temporarily disconnecting these USB devices. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.